All right, uh, Will Blunderfield. I am fearless. I am doubtless. Because fear in the present moment is fear. Ooh, look at nature. Nature is so pretty, dude. There was a old ass video on YouTube I'd get my friends to watch called Sounds of Hell, which just sounded so scary. They're your batteries. So when you focus on your testicles, you're literally charging your batteries. And of course, you're probably the first guy in your family lineage who's doing shit like this, at least for hundreds of years. So of course the shame's gonna come up. Of course the fear's gonna come up, and of course the... I don't know what to say about this. Crazy white people. <laughs> this video changed my life. Too gay. <laughs> I said too gay. <laughs> like why? <laughs> why are they <laughs> doing these morning like chants? Which you, you dig? Like, do we have to be next to each other? Is it like a certain energy? All right, my I'm gonna gather my friends so we can do yoga naked in the river together. Or she <laughs> man said it changed his life. You do a river to the shit. His face is my reaction. <laughs> Of course the fear is going to come up, and of course... The Look at his face. <laughs> like, I'm not joining in this shit. <laughs> so I always just tell my students, like, what do your balls feel like right now? Smile into that feeling. <sighs> really staying grounded in your nuts and your body. Good. And then you reach for the nuts, and you basically cup the nuts, and you appreciate the nuts. And you kind of feel... What is he doing? Gas <sighs> yes, coal <laughs> gay. Can I too gay? Yo, Henny, you trying to cup each other's nuts and breathe into them? What did he say? Or Tone, you wanna cup? You wanna cup each other's nuts? What the hell? No way! Would you say Monka is? Why are men always doing things like this? Hey, if girls can- Whoa, I did not know I just stopped on this screen. <laughs> I was looking at shit and I just paused it. Girls can get together and make out and be in cute little lingerie and have lingerie slumber parties, but we just can't be men and stand by the river with our dicks out, rubbing it down with coconut oil and detoxifying ourselves and get rid of getting rid of our microplastics. What the fuck, Ava? Come on, man. I thought you were progressive, girl. Fuck. Fuck. Don't. <laughs> no. No, we can't. <laughs> What are you watching or something? I don't know. Rocket sent it, bro, and I'm dying, though. <laughs> Women are not getting together in the woods somewhere, rubbing each other's tits. No, you guys do that at each other's houses when you get wine drunk off your little mimosa brunch and shit. We all know it. It's not a secret anymore. Girls, we know you guys get together in your little lesbian sex orgy parties with all your little lingerie, with all your little mimosas. We know, we've known for years. And it's about time we took back what was ours, our sexual freedom. It doesn't belong to you women. Our sexualness belongs to us. So yeah, maybe me and my friends, we wanna just have our dicks out while we're fishing. Not even fishing with like, no, I'm talking about like men with sticks, pointing sticks just in the water like, Wah! And have like a fucking lobster, a little fucking piranha, and a goldfish all at the end of my shit. Of the heart in <laughs> what is he? What is? What is he doing? So are these like his believers, or are they like his friends? What's going on here, dude? Later on, we're gonna talk a lot about screwing techniques. Literally, focus your consciousness into your nuts because energy is okay. where the mind goes. There's also something that my teacher Troy Casey taught me. It's called testicle slapping. Certified health nut. So you do this for maybe two minutes, not too hard, not too easy, just right. Mixing the blood and the your balls, increasing your testosterone, which will increase your manhood. And then you take the energy of nature. Okay, so I don't know why I flushed the toilet, force of habit. But anyway, so this is Shivambu. This is as gay as it gets. Fuck, wait till I'm still sleepy. 
What happens if you slap you slap too hard? Oh, you're gonna be sitting there in pain. Oh, I got weird. I eat carrots. <laughs> He's drinking his own piss, bro. Yeah, same-sex erotic bonding is when uh, two men or a group of men come together to do things that this culture would say would be like homosexual. For example, two men hugging heart to heart with the cocks touching, breathing, and doing our best to stay in a Paris. What happens when like the other guy gets hard? <laughs> you just look at him awkwardly, like, "Yo, you good? <laughs> you good?" <laughs> Fuck else, Rocket be watching. Legend says the touch. <laughs> <laughs> <That's true. laughs> Legend says the tips touched. I swear I'm innocent. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is happening right now? He looks like he hasn't graduated to hugging yet. This man is, ain't no way, bro. Ain't no fucking way. So there's this video and it's talking about guys like getting better at stuff in nature together. Would you do this with me? Can we go to a river and do this? What is this? We're bathing our nuts together. It's called same-sex erotic bonding. I don't want to bathe my nuts. With me? Or you just don't want to bathe them at all? I don't want to bathe my nuts in general. If you just want an excuse to be naked with niggas, you didn't need this. With you? Why me? Because you're, you're my closest guy friend. I won't be that close. <laughs> I love you, but damn, dude. <laughs> this is brotherly love. Like, that's, that's jackass love. I, I, I just have to ask you my bad for police for the street. You good? <laughs> that's a lot of gooch out. <laughs> that's a lot of gooch. Gucci made for real. Oh, oh my shit. God. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> <coughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> this is funny as fuck. Look at him, bro. He just said they're like. Oh shit! <laughs> Doctor, come back! <laughs> I'm about to stick his pinky in the right spot. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Spare your girlfriend. <laughs> My bad, chat. Let's keep it going. <laughs> Get off the spray for fuck's sake! <laughs> He's teaching you how to be gay without admitting it. You got a beautiful cock, baby. <laughs> and then you hug heart to heart because the heart is on the left side of the body with the cocks touching. When I started hanging out with these guys, it's not just well, there's other people in Vancouver who are also engaging in, in these kind of practices. My assumption is that like, oh, they must be gay. Oh, he got a beautiful <laughs> cock. I don't need to get Yo, my man, what's, what's up with this yoga shit? <laughs> This is naked yoga shit. What's going on, man? Maybe. Oh my god. The wild mega man denies uh, the existence. Drinks his own piss. This is a bad label. <laughs> just like talks about all this crazy shit. 
I mean, he drinks his own piss, but his beer looks amazing. Am I right? And I just love the intensity of that word. And I guess it's like how some black people reappropriate the N word. I like to reappropriate the faggot. So you experienced a lot of bullying experience like that? Yeah, <laughs> it was pretty bad. Like people would like draw cocks in my mouth on my student council posters. And I guess they assumed that I was gay because I was a singer. I remember I was living in Manhattan and I was dating this guy. We just, you know, had a good meal and we, we held each other's hands. Right when we got out, it, was, it started to rain, and this guy takes out a switchblade. He's like, you fucking faggots, I'm gonna get you. And like, we ran, and it just like showed me that there still is a lot of like um, triggering that can happen when two men or two women are showing love. I mean, yeah, I definitely have same sex attraction, and it's interesting when I do things like detox from glyphosate. And People over there, you see this video, you realize it gets much worse. Bro, he's. <laughs> This type of person to have his own cult. How long ago is this video? He's probably built a cult up by now. Just the people doing naked yoga and drinking their own piss. Oh, he actually eats pussy too, though. It's like three three weeks old. He said detox, pissing, all toxins. What is he eating? Bro, there's nothing wrong with being gay. I am LGBT friendly. If you like men, love men, like sucking dick getting pegged i don't care it's none of my business i just i just respect when people own that shit this just feels gay to me this is they're not even doing exercises earlier they were doing like they had like a whole little stance and they were like <sighs> now they're just standing there just flapping their dicks up and down next to each other <laughs> if i could duck my own dick i don't think i would I think I'd probably suck my own dick if I could. I would I would know all the right spots. But in my neck of the woods, if you touch tips, compliment each other's dicks and all the other shit, you're definitely gay. <laughs> Why do we keep pausing? <laughs> Cause it's these frames are hilarious to me. I'm sorry, chat. This shit is funny as fuck. <laughs> nice tip, bro. This is the geek fleet. Uh, can I even show this? This is like <laughs> we should probably skip this, right? I don't know if I can show a picture of a, a health chart dick on my channel. <laughs> I'm glad I missed the piss drinking part. So they're just standing here holding each other's dicks. <laughs> what training exercise is this? Someone please tell me. <laughs> Holy shit. The legend was true, apparently. The other guy's dick was beautiful. <laughs> Be whatever you want as long as you aren't hurting others. Exactly. That's all I'm saying, bro. This seems gay. This just screams gay. And there's nothing wrong with that. It is not my... It is not... It, like, it doesn't matter to me if you love another man. Or you like fucking other men. Just own it, man. You don't have to sit here and come up with your own little cult. Where you drink your piss. You're out in nature. Probably You, you probably got like ticks under his nuts. Because he's just walking around naked. Imagine bro. Like walking through the water naked. And then coming out. And there just being like five leeches on your balls. Tell me you wouldn't be fucking terrified. Like put some clothes on. If you guys just want to get a, an Airbnb. And touch each other's nuts like this. You can. I'm all about smashing toxic Max Lena. And I'm gay. But I'm losing my mind. What is this? <laughs> Every time you pause it takes a year off my life. <laughs> this is the most wild repressed shit. That's what I'm saying, bro. This guy would be happier in a gimp suit at a gay orgy. <laughs> also, I was sexually abused by a doctor when I was four, so it was a combination of like a chemical, almost like a chemical castration. Okay, he said that, now I feel bad. <laughs> so the sexual kung fu lineage has literally helped me like feel my balls and like mix the blood and the chi in my nuts. People always say, Will, can I really grow my penis? And I say, I witnessed his cock change for sure. Like his cock's gotten bigger. That neck tattoo is pretty dope. Flaccid, maybe Sexual kung fu lineage. Oh shit, this guy's like has no brakes. This is Salem. Usually about three to four inches. And he racked it goes to about six, just over six inches. So many dudes that I work with and that I've chatted with. So when you're soft, it's four inches, and when you're erect, it is six inches. So. So two, he, he got two inches? 
I witness his cock getting bigger. I appreciate the no filter. <laughs> oh my god, damn. I don't know, I can feel my balls pretty well with all this stupid juicy. <laughs> I like his neck tattoo. That's what I'm saying, it's pretty dope. The dude is worried about is their dick going to be perceived as small? This, like, fear of That's hot. Like, <laughs> Some squiddy. Or just help me feel like I don't really care about what someone thinks of my dick. I'm just like, this is my dick. None of you guys. This is my dick. <laughs> the changes I've noticed. <laughs> Look at that smile. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking like, oh yeah, we were. <laughs> we pulled one over on this motherfucker. <laughs> Demented, bro. Look at his face. He just grew up, realized he was gay, and he's like, hmm, what's a non sexual way for me to have other men naked so I can look at them and think in a sexual way? So I can just stare at dicks all day long. That's the vibe I'm getting from this, man. Like, he just wants to look at dicks all day, and he came up with the perfect plan to have people join him and just have their dicks out all day. Cat that got the milk, literally. <laughs> The changes I've noticed in my own genitals. <laughs> He's a dickologist. To that area. It's more so their interconnection to the he must be new because he's still putting on clothes. I haven't seen the other dudes put on clothes yet, except for in his apartment. This is gay Hitler. <laughs> what? That area. It seems to coalesce back into a full system. Imagine watching the clouds are shaving, all you see is dick. <laughs> look at that, I found another cloud. Oh, that one looks like a dick. Well, look at this one. Oh, that's a dick too. It has. Full bodies back online, not so much. Holy shit, bro. Area or not, a full revival of the intrinsic system. And this is great to do, like in a circle with a bunch of naked men, because we communicate subtly through the pelvic consciousness. I call it the testiculum, kind of like the mycelium network in the forest. The mushroom is the cock and the mycelium are the testicles. So it's like, let them fill with this yang chi, this yang prana, and exhale, ah, appreciate it, right? Because gratitude is the- He's gonna ask him where he learned this shit at? <laughs> them guys don't own clothes. If you think all clothes look like dicks, you're probably on shrews. He's trying to make a nursery rhyme about dicks. <laughs> you can do this when you're having sex with a woman. You can Thrust, if you're about to ejaculate and you don't want to ejaculate, growl into your balls. It's so powerful. You go, ah! And literally you can feel some of the energy will leave your system and come into your body instead. And she'll probably be more wet because of it. Because women... You construct intricate rituals which allow you to touch the skin of other men is a phrase I always hear on Tumblr. And boy, this little player, this ritual. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, he's coming up with a way to just... Look at other dude. Where can I watch the beginning of this on YouTube? <laughs> Just look up Will Blunderfield. Hold on, I'll uh like seeing guys touching each other's dicks on Twitch. Who would have guessed, right? Just a bunch of gamers looking to see guys touching tips. Why would I want to watch this? Opens new tab. <laughs> I saw the thumbnail. Thought y'all was showing some gay porn. <laughs> I'm straight, but I'm LGBT friendly. I don't give a fuck about your sexual orientation as long as you're a cool person. But this dude seems like he hasn't owned that he's gay or bi, whatever, whichever one. But it, you don't have to be doing naked yoga in the woods to ask your followers to fondle balls with you. You know what I mean? Holy shit, bro! This shit is crazy. I went to musical theater school. Hey, dude, want to come shake tips and roast our Balskis and missionaries? <laughs> to fast forward throughout the ages, <laughs> throughout the last 15 years, I was teaching what we would call like Hatha yoga, like stretchy stretch yoga. And it was great, but it, it felt like there was something missing. I started to get into other more men and dicks and also I got addicted to cocaine so I stopped doing that and I started <laughs> how do you just drop that in the middle of the conversation <laughs> was missing something so I did cocaine oh, what <laughs> wondering about something does the different sexual kung fu lineages give special abilities like do I get to hadouken with my dick if I practice at one dojo is their demonic lineage will curve like the devil's horn and will give it a laser shot like Jin from <laughs> Want to touch tips and pop assholes? 
<laughs> I bet there's an uncensored version somewhere out there. You gotta have to, you'd have to ask uh, Andrew Callahan. Drinking my piss gets me kind of high. I don't know how it works. Doing breath work. <sighs> Inhale. Suspend the breath. Squeeze the anus, sex organ, navel. Shunt the energy up your spine into your pineal. Exhale, keep the energy of your body round. He looked like he just ejaculated in front of him. Give energy into the rest of your system. Bro, I thought he was sucking his own dick. Oh my god. I was about to say, what am I watching right now? <laughs> the cameramen just look at each other. <laughs> this guy's game face is amazing. <laughs> Tell about the hidden techniques. I wonder if someone can actually suck their own dick. I mean, it's possible. Bro, this is what people do. They never heard of a circle jerk. I think they're going to figure it out sooner or later. Like, they're on the path to figuring out what a circle jerk is. That they are a danger, hence creating these strong boundaries in society. In order to get to a place where you can free the nipple and free the rectum completely, you also have to look at, yeah, the, the shadowy, shitty part of people that would want to take advantage of that or are only doing it as this means of getting away with something. You know, I want to show my genitals to people because there's something unresolved there. As opposed to, this is, these are my genitals. It's fucking it. Nope. Free the nipple, free the rectum. When the fuck was free the rectum a thing? I, I missed that train. Like, it's just coincidence they're all conventionally attractive dudes. You be talking to your friends about holding each other's balls in the forest? Free the rectum hashtag. <laughs> the question is who bought them into top. So that doesn't mean you never ejaculate. <laughs> show me your genitals, show me your genitals. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or shunt that energy upwards. But when's the last time that you uh, ejaculated? Last night. What? <laughs> but when's the last time that you uh, ejaculated? Last night. <laughs> His face, bros. <laughs> he has to still be on cocaine. <laughs> this man is still on cocaine, y'all. <laughs> This motherfucker's just said, I try to show them the difference between masturbation and ejaculation. Or ejaculation and orgasm. When was the last time you did it? <laughs> last night? <laughs> Recycling the cocaine by drinking his piss. <laughs> that cocaine he did 15 years ago is still in his piss because he's still drinking it. That shit is going. <laughs> it's literally becoming his blood cells and everything else. Yeah, I can actually. He said, What? <laughs> he said, What? Or shut that energy up. What? Yeah, I can actually show you. Not bad, I turned it down. I'll turn it back up. Ejaculate or shunt that energy upwards. But when's the last time that you uh, ejaculated? Last night. What? Yeah, I can actually show what? you. What? <laughs> so me and my buddy Brian did a <laughs> The last cum bender has just come chill. We wrote what we wanted to let go of and we ejaculated <laughs> onto it. So it was actually very powerful and then we let it dry. That's his. His is a bit more intense. <laughs> Wait, so you're just coming on paper? Wait, what? What? Why is he doing it on paper, bro? He saves cum joy. Let's come red. Shame. Caring what others think. Overthinking. Pressure in head. Uh, I don't know, probably because you're recycling fucking cocaine piss. That's why you're feeling... <laughs> You need water, bitch. <laughs> Come, Royce. This is what imagery do you see? <laughs> I see a I see a cow face. All right, like this is the ear, this is the other ear, this is the eye, this is the eye, and this is like a big nose, and then this is the horns right here. I see a cow. <laughs> Who needs therapy? Jizz on paper and just look at the shape. <laughs> it was actually very powerful, and then we let it dry. That's his. His is a bit more intense. His? What's up with his? Yo, who was that one? Is that the dude with the neck tattoo? Releasing purging. 
allergies, escape through cannabis and food, self-sabotage, uncertainty, unclarity, indecisiveness, fear of rejection, abandonment, something of my power and responsibility. Yo, what's up with his cum? Yo. Why is he staring us so hard? Because my cum has never been, like, fucking orange or red. I don't think this holistic training shit that they're doing in the middle of the woods is good for whoever that is. Have you let it dry on paper, though? I've seen it dry on stuff. I've jacked, like, as a kid, I've jacked off into trash cans. I've jacked off into fucking pillows, uh, socks, wet rags. Like, washcloths, not wet rags. Washcloths. I've used I've used napkins when I was too horny, but my my shit has never been this color. Yeah, this way. My shit has never been this color. Yo, I feel sorry for any woman that allows him to just c inside of her. We should have let go more. He got to purge more emotions. <laughs> Motherfucker was jacking off with like the grip of a vice. <laughs> Some semen has Bill Rubin in it, which will make the urine yellow. I've never tried the sock. Would you recommend? The sock is okay. I prefer a pillow. Just like a nice soft pillow. Fold that shit in just a little spot. Perfect. With the recent That's the color of the emotions. Did, my intention was to purge uh, certain... Oh, so it was you. Certain narratives. We'll burn that paper. <laughs> so we're letting go of shame. Caring about what other people think. I just noticed he's holding a piece of paper that another man has come on. Bro. Think overthinking. I think my comfort zone is shame. So leaving the comfort zone is coming to joy. But it's still, it's like, do I deserve to feel so good and so juicy? Because I felt so bad for so long. And what I really want to say is that gay panic has been brainwashed into all of our psyches because these types of activities release high amounts of testosterone. They they lower competition in comparison. It's a sense of de-armoring. You know, there's far too much competition between men. And if the world's male leaders did this work together, I believe there'd be a lot more peace and camaraderie. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> nah, man. We didn't need a fucking close-up of this shit. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Oh, that shit look like a coffee stain. How is he affording to live there? How to go in the way to Sing with me. Sing from your nuts, sing from your ovaries. This is Lil Nas Y. <laughs>
What you just saw was a surprise performance from Will at our first ever Channel 5 live show in Toronto about three weeks ago. Oh yeah, if you guys didn't know, we're going on a 43 city national Channel 5 live tour. Milwaukee, Madison, Phoenix, Denver, Philly, New York. It's coming to Denver, Phoenix? New oh, York, I might have to go. Orlando. I might have to go. I can keep it going, it's crazy. At the that guy lives less than an hour away from me. <laughs> Will and Rocket collab. We're also going to hire battle rappers and magicians via Craig. I would love to see it. Act. And we're going to bring out special characters from the channel. Free the rectum, hashtag sing from your nuts. It's going to be a great time. <laughs> if you want to buy tickets to any of these dates, go to channel5.news backslash pages. These dudes will need lots of antibacteria. Me personally, I would buy some new clothes. No ones on me. I would just burn them. The link in the description below. Hope to see you guys there. Bro, that's one of the greatest videos I've ever watched in my life. Holy shit. <laughs> that was one of the greatest videos ever, bro. One thing I've wondered about, if the normal gay people stayed hidden in the closet back in the day and only dudes like this came out, maybe that explains some of the old views. You're saying, like, some dudes were just so flamboyant. <laughs> they just came out like, hey, we should be out here holding each other's dicks. And the rest of the straight guys were like, what? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> They're bringing battle rappers and magicians. Let's go. <laughs> you kind of sus, ye. I'll take that. I'm confident in my sexuality, but this video was funny as fuck. <laughs> this is the longest 20 minutes I've ever experienced. <laughs> Poor guy in first row is trying to look anywhere but straight forward. <laughs> at the angle you're at, all you can see is just like <laughs> his dick and balls just <laughs> under the table. <laughs> well, I'm gay now. <laughs> is that how it works? <laughs> you caught the gay? <laughs> I just got an ab workout I was not expecting at 2 a.m., bro. <laughs> like, my ribs right here. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> Holy fuck. Put a marker to where we end that part. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> Yo, Henny, you trying to cup each other's nuts and breathe into them?